Okay, this is the game is on 100 here with a video and this video I'm going to be talking about uh, Brandon Marshall's offseason program that he's doing with uh, Alshon Jeffrey and Marquise Wilson uh, Let's get started. Um, it's being said on the Chicago Bears uh, website by the Brandon Marshall has an offseason program down in Miami where uh, Alshon Jeffrey and Marquise Wilson is training in the program with uh, Brandon Marshall down in Miami. They're doing his uh, offseason program just like what Alshon Jeffrey did last year. Um, as we've seen from last year, when, when the Bears drafted Alshon Jeffrey, I was very excited with the pick that the Bears drafted him. We needed another tall wide receiver to complement Brandon Marshall. Um, during his first year, Alshon Jeffrey was played by injuries, and uh, he wasn't properly, uh, from technique-wise, to be in a very effective wide receiver. Um, but under the off-season program, the found during this during the upcoming season for the 2013 season, he went down to Brandon Marshall's uh, camp down there. To, uh, to work out with them, to train with them, and show them how to be a prolific wide receiver in the NFL. And within the second year, he emerged in the NFL as a, as a good receiver, complimenting Brandon Marshall. Um, I, I was expecting good things from Brandon Marshall, again, like he did in 2013. Alshon Jeffrey took a huge step in his second year. He had uh, he broke away with uh, he holds the record for the most receiving yards in the game for Chicago Bears history against the Minnesota Vikings. He also held the previous record against the uh, New Orleans Saints as well. He's emerging as uh, going to be eventually be a number one wide receiver eventually. Um, that's going to probably be in the in the future for uh, Mark uh, Alshon Jeffrey that he's going to be. Uh, a top wide receiver in NFL for years. Um, he learned under the expert tutelage of Brandon Marshall. And now for this year, I am very excited that with the Bears, with the drafting of Marquise Wilson uh, in last year, in the draft of last year, he didn't play that much. But it's a good thing that he's going down to Brandon Marshall's all-season program down in Miami, work out with Brandon Marshall. He needs to get stronger and gain a little bit more weight to be in the nfl because they said he weighed like a hundred and like 90 pounds he's like six four 190 he needs to add a little bit more beef to him which he needs to get stronger and he needs to add a little bit more weight then he'll be a pretty good wide receiver for the bears and coming out of that from the end of the year uh, press conference by emory and tressman it looks like Marquise Wilson is going to have a bigger role in the offense uh, next year. Um, that's going to probably mean that uh, that he's going to try to occupy the third wide receiver spot from Earl Bennett. But uh, if he'd be the fourth wide receiver, I'll be all right with that. Um, well, it looks like that if they're going to have uh, Marquise Wilson be the fourth wide receiver. Uh, what would they do with Eric Weems? I'm, I'm expecting Eric Weems will probably do the kick returns for the Bears because I don't think the Bears are going to re-sign Devin Hester. I don't think they're going to get re-sign him. And, uh, well, the Bears still has Eric Weems for, for another uh, year. So um, I expected him. He's going to be doing all the kickoff return duties that Devin Hester does a return. That's what I'm expecting. But overall, I'm going to go post a link in the description box for the photo gallery they got at uh, Brandon Marshall's offseason program with uh, that he's showing with Alshon Jeffrey and Marquise Wilson training with Brandon Marshall. This is all good for uh, Marquise Wilson and his development. Um, I can only see if he doesn't go through with this offseason program with Brandon Marshall. Um, eventually, Jay Cutler's going to be going down there to work out with his receivers. They said they were going to do that as well. So it's all good that Brandon Mar um, not Brandon Marshall, that uh, Jay Cutler gets some, gets some reps with Marquise Wilson, get the feeling for Marquise Wilson so he can throw the 
Marquise Wilson in the regular season or whatever. So overall, it's looking good for uh, Marquise Wilson. Um, hopefully, he can uh, if he can learn under the tutelage of Brandon Marshall, it looks like that we're going to have three good wide receivers next year. Um, Earl Bennett, uh, you know, he's he was played by injuries last year. Um, I'm still high on Earl Bennett still. But we'll see what's going to happen with the Bears and the wide receivers. So, I thought I would uh, let you guys know about this uh, offseason program of Brandon Marshall's that he's doing with the wide receivers of the Bears, which is good. Uh, like I said, Alshon Jeffrey went down to Brandon Marshall's camp during the offseason, and he emerged as a as a very good, effective wide receiver for the Bears, him and Brandon Marshall. It looked like there were like two Brandon Marshalls out there pretty much that I would t tell. And now with Marquise Wilson is under the tutelage of Brandon Marshall. That's just going to make Marquise Wilson be even better than he was last year. That's what I'm expecting from him. This is the Game is on 100. I am out later.